The national discussion of the George Zimmerman verdict continued Sunday across the country with a number of rallies and protests. New Center 11's Monty Bowen reports on one that was held right here in the 49th state. 50 people showed up yesterday at the rally that was held in Anchorage. This one sponsored by the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Dana Nichols of Florida was visiting Alaska when the verdict was announced. When the verdict came through, we were here, we were outraged. Emotional about the outcome of the case, she joined the rally. And it just made us both heartbroken and wanted to protest, but I'm here and I'm not in Florida. If I was in Florida, I'd be protesting. The stand your ground law was a main theme. The one thing that has come out of this tragedy, now we have this huge national dialogue that we've been afraid to have. Is this a law that we really want in Alaska? Is this a law that we really want across the nation? I would suggest that the stand your ground law probably advocates more violence than it's meant to stop. Florida's stand your ground law is similar to a mandate that's written into Alaska law. It's just important to me that we speak out against the Stand Your Ground Law in support of Trayvon. I want to change legislation. I want to change the way the government looks at situations that promote violence. The NAACP says Sunday's rally was meant to continue and promote a dialogue that started thousands of miles away in a Sanford, Florida courtroom. Monty Bowen, News Center 11. A spokeswoman for Governor Sean Parnell says he continues to support the so-called Stand Your Ground law in Alaska. Now, Sharon Lehow says Parnell's position hasn't changed since last month when he signed legislation allowing for use of deadly force and self-defense in any place a person has a legal right to be. At that time, Parnell said Alaskans' way of life depends on their ability to carry firearms to defend themselves, provide for their families, and live freely. That's a quote. That law takes effect in September. While citizens protested in light of the George Zimmerman verdict Sunday in Anchorage, no such plans have been made for a Fairbanks rally at this time. The News Center spoke today with Pastor Joe Blackburn of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church for his take on the verdict, one he says was, quote, wrong. Uh, I feel that the ver that the verdict was um, was wrong. Uh, I, I don't think that uh, you know. I feel that you know he uh, shot this young man, and uh, you know said that he was uh, said that Zimmerman was defending himself. So what if Trayvon was defending himself, and um, uh, uh, Zimmerman was following him? Uh, after he was told not to follow him, and the young man lived in the neighborhood, headed home, uh, that is a fact. Could have been uh, your son, daughter, my son, daughter, friend, could have been me. 